Now, Ralph Rangnick has held talks with Bayern Munich about succeeding Thomas Tuchel as head coach. Let's get more on this with our Sky Germany reporter, Felix Fischer. Uh, Felix, good afternoon to you. Just tell us more about these talks that Bayern have held with Rangnick then. Yeah, good evening. Uh, we know that there has been talks uh, or there have been talks um, before they actually wanted Julian Nagelsmann as their new coach. And now these uh, talks are getting uh, more and more intense. Um, so as far as we know, uh, Bayern Munich wants Ralf Rangnick as their new coach, uh, which is a little bit surprising if we are looking at the last weeks on the, on, on the one hand. On the, other, on the other hand, it's not that surprising because, uh, as we know, they had issues. Uh, they didn't get Xavi Alonso. They didn't get Julian Nagelsmann. And now uh, Ralf Rangnick is their first choice. And um, yeah, they are probably trying everything to get him as a new coach and uh, to, to know how to plan uh, the new season, how to, to get new players, which players uh, uh, Ralf Rangnick wants. And yeah, there will be interesting days and um, probably uh, going to announce a new coach in the next days. And of course, he didn't have a great time at Manchester United. How is he regarded in Germany? Yeah, he's regarded as a very, very uh, professional coach uh, that needs a lot of space and uh, he wants to have all the responsibilities that he can have. But he's a really intelligent um, guy that knows that what he wants and uh, that brings uh, a, lot of, a lot of knowledge about football, a lot of contacts um, in, the, um, in the leagues or in England, in Germany. He did a very, very good job at RB Leipzig. Uh, he did more or less a poor job at Manchester United. But he's shown what he's capable of doing. And yeah, obviously the Bayern bosses are confident that he can show that again in Munich. And tell us a bit more about Julian Nagelsmann. He turned down the chance to return to Bayern. Just why did he make that decision? Yeah, he felt like uh, the Bayern bosses are not that sure about him. Uh, there were um, like Christoph Freund and Max Ebel who are very, very, uh, very, very sure that Julian Nagelsmann um, may be the best choice for Bayern. Um, on the other hand, there were names like Karl-Heinz um, who said that he that's not a good idea to bring him back into the club. And yeah, Julian Nagelsmann felt that. He, he knew that the, the bosses are not that sure about him. That is one, um, one argument why he didn't want to join uh, the club. Um, there's also the, the aspect that he's, of course, the, the manager of the German uh, national team, and he wants to, to fully work on uh, the, the European Championships, and he wants to have success. And uh, yeah, doing both at the same time um, wasn't the best idea for him. And what about Roberto De Zerbi? He's been heavily linked with the Bayern Munich job since Tuchel announced he'd be stepping down. Has, has anything changed there? No, he may still be an option, but um, as far as we know, he, he's more like option number two at the moment. Um, as Ralf Rangnick is, is option number three, but Roberto De Zerbi may be an option if uh, Ralf Rangnick doesn't want to join Bayern Munich or if the, the discussions right now uh, don't really work out that well. Um, but yeah, as I said, the number one option at the moment seems to be Ralf Rangnick and um, the Bayern bosses will just be happy um, if, if they can announce a new coach and if they can finally um, plan a new season with their new coach then. Felix, lovely stuff. Thank you very much. You're welcome.